looks like a friendly little town.
morning paper, my lord. <coughs> oh, very good, Smedley. My crayon! Please, my lord, not again. It will ruin the family name. It's too late, Smedley. I can't control myself. I must have that crayon. Begging your grace's pardon, but I just shan't give it to you. You've hidden my crayon. Where is it, I say? Where is it? Yo! I beg of your lordship. Where is that crayon? Don't do this dreadful thing, your grace. Quiet your speech. But, Your Grace, I only feel it my duty to stop you before you're done in. Enough of your sniveling dribble, Smedley. Morning, Your Lordship. Oh, good day, officer. I beg of you, don't perpetrate this hideous crime. What's going on here, Your Lordship? I've just apprehended the phantom moustache, officer. So, oh, the phantom moustache, eh? You're making a horrible mistake, officer. Search him! Search him! Oh, how could you, Your Grace? A little kiss, Maisie. Well, all righty, but only one. Before have so many moustaches been painted on so many people by just one madman. The yard expects every man to do his duty. Elementary, my dear inspector. Elementary. How can you believe such accusations against Sir Percival Pruinpit? He is so kind to his dear mother. And he loves animals. Look at his fine, noble face. So sweet and so pure. <laughs> I appeal to you, gentlemen. <laughs> Don't condemn this saintly man. <laughs> <laughs> Gentlemen of the jury, <laughs> what is your verdict? Not guilty!
Indian space test. Hmm. Why not? from outer space. Greetings. I come from the planet Mausiola. We are seeking a cat to rule over our 10 million mice. 10 million mice? By chance, are you a cat? Am I a cat? Listen, meow, meow, meow. Hmm, I believe you are. Well, the job is yours. <laughs> Your leader is ready to go, Mr. Space Mouse. Not so fast. You must first be conditioned to space travel. Okay, let's get started. Let's get started. Mm, ten million miles. <gasps> first, we start with conditioning against space dizziness. All set? Let's go. <laughs> Well, Mr. Space Mouse, uh, how did I make out? Uh, uh, pretty good, but uh, you'll need some more space tests. Now to condition you against space vacuum. the vacuum test, Mr. Space Mouse, did I? Operation Cold Conditioning is next. <laughs> well, that's the finish of that, cat. Am I ready to go now, Mr. Space-mouse? Oh, no! The final test is for cosmic space conditioning. Oh, boy! Ten million tender, juicy mice!
he was off again. But this time, he was happy because he had just made a new friend. Casper and that Wendy sure make a gruesome twosome. But I must get home to start the witch's brew. See you later, Wendy dear. We gonna get Casper away from that Wendy's good influence. Yeah. <laughs> it's a witch coil that looks like Wendy. Excuse us, uh, we're nice ghosts and we'd like a word with you. Nice ghosts? Bah! You mean you're a mean little witch coil? That's right, pale puss. They don't call me Wildcat for nothing. Look, Wildcat, just listen to this. <laughs> that sounds like frightful fun. I dyed your outfit red just like Wendy's. Good. I'm dyeing my hair to blonde. Oh, Casper, see who's at the door. Why, Wendy, what are you doing here? I just got lonely without you. But I thought you had to make the witch's brew. I hate flowers. Why, Wendy, you never did anything like this before. Before, I was nice and sweet. Bah! I'll plant this back in the ground again. <laughs> you sure look surprised. I, I sure am. Well, I'm tired of being good. That was a real nice story that Casper read to me. Wendy, is that brew ready? Coming up. What are you trying to do, poisonous? Gosh, while thinking of Casper, I used the wrong ingredients for the brew. Sweet peas and sugar plums. It's all the fault of that goody-goody Casper, that's what. Speaking of spooks, that one reminds me of Casper. Hold on, short sheet. Look at the frightful furies calling me names. Now, if Wendy had a ghost friend like that, <laughs> I'll bet she'd soon be mean like us. And with a little magic, we can make you look like Casper's twin. Sure, I'll change Wendy into a mean witch. Casper, Casper, change into the image of Casper. <laughs> door. Why, it's Casper. Oh, how nice. Uh, you can go out and play, Wendy. Golly, Casper, aren't you afraid to come here? You know how the witches feel about you. Well, I've decided to be as mean as they are. <laughs> now look what you've done. Oh. <laughs> I just don't understand what's happened to Wendy. Casper has just got to be all right today. I'm awfully sorry, Wendy. It was really all my fault, Casper. Why, you sound just like my old Wendy. And you're just like my old Casper. <laughs> today, I'll give Casper loveless lesson number two. If, if you're Wendy, then who was that? And if you're Casper, then who's that? Here's where I give that Wendy another tough time. Hello, Casper. Well, have you decided to be a ghoul or a good boy today? Why, a ghoul boy, of course. What else? Come on, Wendy. Let's get to the bottom of this. Why, you phony phantom. No girl can talk to me like that and get away with it. Let's break it up, Wendy. Stop. You're the... Yes, we're the real Casper and Wendy. And who are you both? I'm Wildcat. The ghostly trio wanted me to make Casper mean like they are. And the witches made me look like you, Casper, so that I could make Wendy as tough as I am. <laughs> <laughs> Say, don't you two hate us now? Why, of course not. We just feel sorry for you, that's all. But that doesn't make sense. Well, it does if you knew how much fun Wendy and I have by just being good. We'll never know unless we give it a try. That's right. Hey, guys, do you see what I see? Hey, girls, do you see what I see? You cry.
crazy skysweepers. Why don't you watch where you're going? Why don't you whitewash spooks watch where you're going? Just like grown-ups, fighting all the time, you'd think they would know better. <laughs> <laughs>